Today's video is a must-watch if you've been stocking up on canned goods at Walmart or planning to do so. We're breaking down eight canned foods from Walmart that could be bad news for your emergency stockpile. Whether you're prepping for food shortages, natural disasters, or just trying to ensure your family's food security, some of these items might not be as helpful as they seem. Number one, high sodium canned foods. High sodium canned foods are a common staple found on store shelves, but they can pose significant health risks, especially in situations where long-term consumption is involved, like in emergencies or during food shortages. Canned soups, vegetables, and meats often contain excessive amounts of sodium as a preservative to extend shelf life and improve taste. The problem is that consuming too much sodium can lead to several health issues, including high blood pressure, increased risk of heart disease, and kidney problems. For adults, the recommended daily sodium intake is around 2,300 milligrams, but many canned goods can contain more than half that amount in a single serving. This means that relying heavily on high sodium canned foods could push your daily intake far beyond healthy limits. In emergency situations, this can become even more dangerous. Sodium causes the body to retain water, which can lead to dehydration if clean drinking water is scarce. This is especially concerning in survival scenarios where maintaining proper hydration is crucial. Furthermore, high sodium intake can lead to increased thirst, making it harder to manage water supplies efficiently. When preparing for food shortages, it's important to choose low sodium alternatives or options that offer balanced electrolytes and hydration. Reading labels is essential. Look for items that have 10% or less of the daily value of sodium per serving. Foods with high sodium not only compromise health over time, but also make survival and hydration management more difficult in emergency situations. Number two, canned foods with BPA packaging. Canned foods with BPA packaging have raised significant health concerns over the years, and understanding the risks associated with them is essential, especially when it comes to long-term food storage and emergency preparedness. BPA, or bisphenol A, is an industrial chemical commonly used in the lining of cans to prevent corrosion and contamination from the metal. While this chemical helps preserve the food's freshness and extends shelf life, it poses health risks, particularly through the leaching of BPA into the food, especially when the cans are exposed to high temperatures or stored for extended periods. BPA acts as an endocrine disruptor, which means it can mimic the body's hormones and interfere with normal hormonal functions. Long-term exposure to BPA has been linked to a variety of serious health issues, including fertility problems, cardiovascular diseases, obesity, and an increased risk of certain cancers, particularly breast and prostate cancer. Studies have also shown potential links between BPA exposure and behavioral problems in children, such as hyperactivity and anxiety. One of the main concerns for adults, especially those focusing on emergency food storage, is that BPA exposure can accumulate over time. In scenarios where canned food is heavily relied upon, such as during a crisis or food shortage, repeated consumption of BPA-lined products can lead to significant health risks. For those planning long-term food storage, this becomes a critical issue as consuming canned foods stored for years may heighten the exposure to BPA. In recent years, some manufacturers have made efforts to switch to BPA-free cans. However, many canned products at major retailers, including Walmart, still contain BPA. This makes it crucial for consumers to read product labels and opt for BPA-free options whenever possible. Alternatively, you could consider using other forms of food preservation, such as glass jars or vacuum-sealed containers, which are completely BPA-free and safe for long-term storage. Number three, low-quality protein sources. Low-quality protein sources in canned foods can be a significant issue, particularly for those preparing for emergencies or stocking up for long-term storage. Protein is essential for maintaining muscle mass, repairing tissues, and supporting overall body functions, especially during stressful situations where physical demands may increase. However, not all protein sources in canned foods are created equal. 
many canned products at Walmart and other stores, such as canned sausages, processed meats, and cheap canned meals, contain low-quality proteins that may provide insufficient nutritional value in the long term. Low-quality proteins often come from processed meats, which are heavily loaded with fillers like soy protein, concentrate, corn syrup solids, and starches. These fillers are used to bulk up the product cheaply but do not offer the complete range of amino acids that your body needs for proper function. Processed meats can also be high in saturated fats, sodium, and preservatives like nitrites and nitrates, which can increase the risk of heart disease and other chronic conditions when consumed regularly. This is a serious concern when you're relying on these foods in a long-term emergency scenario where you may have limited access to other higher quality protein sources. Additionally, low-quality protein products may also be less bioavailable, meaning your body can't absorb and utilize the protein as efficiently as it would from more natural, minimally processed sources. Canned foods like beans, tuna, or chicken generally provide higher-quality protein options compared to sausages or canned hot dogs, which are made with mechanically separated meat or meat byproducts, offering little in terms of essential nutrients. For individuals focused on maintaining their health in a crisis or food shortage situation, relying on low-quality proteins can lead to malnutrition over time, weakening the immune system, reducing energy levels, and making it harder to recover from illness or injury. It's crucial to carefully read labels and prioritize canned foods that list simple, whole ingredients rather than heavily processed options. Look for canned proteins like beans, lentils, and lean meats that have minimal additives and high nutritional content. These provide better long-term benefits for survival and health, ensuring that you get the essential amino acids your body needs to stay strong and resilient, even in the toughest situations. Number four, canned fruits in heavy syrup. Canned fruits and heavy syrup are often marketed as convenient and long-lasting, but they come with several downsides, particularly due to the large amounts of added sugars. When fruits are packed in heavy syrup, they are submerged in a concentrated sugar solution, which significantly increases the sugar content beyond the natural sugars found in the fruit itself. This syrup is typically made of refined sugars that add unnecessary calories and can contribute to a variety of health issues. The high sugar content can lead to rapid spikes in blood sugar levels, increasing the risk of insulin resistance and, eventually, type 2 diabetes when consumed frequently. For adults, particularly those looking to maintain stable energy levels and avoid unnecessary weight gain, canned fruits and heavy syrup are far from ideal. The excess sugar also leads to reduced nutritional value, as it can overshadow the natural vitamins, fiber, and antioxidants that fresh fruits provide. In survival or prepping scenarios where nutrition is paramount, relying on these types of canned fruits can lead to sugar crashes, fluctuating energy levels, and long-term health impacts. For individuals concerned about heart health, high sugar intake has also been linked to an increased risk of cardiovascular diseases. Additionally, in an emergency food storage context, choosing canned fruits in heavy syrup may not be the wisest option because the high sugar content can foster quicker spoilage once the can is opened. Instead, canned fruits in their own juice or water are much healthier alternatives as they provide the fruits natural sweetness without the excessive addition of refined sugars. These options also retain more of the fruit's natural nutrients and are better for maintaining balanced blood sugar levels, promoting more consistent energy and health over time. Number five, low fiber canned foods. Low fiber canned foods present a hidden risk, especially for those relying on them for long-term survival, emergencies, or simply convenience. Fiber is an essential nutrient that plays a crucial role in digestive health, blood sugar regulation, and maintaining a healthy weight. However, many canned products, especially highly processed options like canned pasta, meats, or certain types of soups, are extremely low in fiber. These foods often rely on refined carbohydrates or fillers that are stripped of fiber during processing. Consuming them regularly can lead to various issues, particularly constipation and poor gut health. 
both of which are critical concerns in survival situations where physical well-being is paramount in emergencies or during prolonged food shortages, having access to fiber-rich foods can be the difference between sustained energy and feeling constantly fatigued. Low-fiber foods are digested quickly, leading to blood sugar spikes followed by crashes, which can leave you feeling tired and lethargic. Moreover, they don't keep you feeling full for long, which means you might burn through your stockpile faster because these foods won't satisfy your hunger as effectively as fiber-rich options. Low-fiber canned foods also fail to provide adequate long-term health benefits. Fiber helps lower cholesterol, control blood sugar levels, and maintain a healthy weight. All crucial factors for adults trying to stay healthy, especially when access to medical care might be limited. Relying heavily on low-fiber foods can increase the risk of developing chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and even certain cancers over time. For those preparing for food shortages or emergencies, it's important to prioritize canned foods that are higher in fiber, such as beans, lentils, and certain vegetables. These foods help support digestive health, prevent constipation, and provide a more balanced source of energy. While they may not always be the first choice for taste, these fiber-rich options are invaluable in maintaining long-term health and ensuring sustained energy during periods when access to fresh foods is limited. Number six, canned goods with expired shelf life. Canned goods with expired shelf life can present more than just a taste or quality issue. They can also carry significant health risks and logistical challenges, especially in emergency situations. While many people rely on canned goods for their long shelf life, it's a common misconception that they last indefinitely. Cans have a best buy or use by date, and while some may remain edible beyond this, the quality, taste, texture, and nutritional value begin to degrade after this period. Over time, vitamins like A and C break down, leaving the food with reduced nutritional benefits, something you definitely want to avoid if you're relying on your stockpile during a crisis. One key problem with expired canned goods is the potential for compromised safety. Cans can experience physical changes over time, such as rust, dents, or bulging, which indicate possible contamination. When cans are exposed to moisture or damaged, they may start to corrode, allowing bacteria such as Clostridium botulinum to develop inside, leading to a risk of foodborne illnesses like botulism. Botulism is a rare but serious condition that can cause paralysis or even death, making it critical to properly inspect cans and discard any with visible damage or those past their expiration dates. Expired canned goods also pose logistical problems for food storage management. If you're prepping for long-term emergencies, keeping an accurate rotation system is essential. Stockpiles must be organized in a first-in, first-out FIFO system to ensure older products are consumed before their shelf life expires, minimizing waste and ensuring your supply remains fresh and safe. Additionally, regularly checking and rotating your stockpile prevents the accumulation of expired items that take up valuable storage space without providing nutritional benefit or safety. Relying on canned goods beyond their expiration can also lead to inconsistency in taste and texture, which may not seem like a big deal initially, but in prolonged situations where morale is low, even small factors like food quality can affect mental well-being. Eating spoiled or degraded food, even if it's not outright dangerous, can diminish overall health and energy levels, which are crucial for surviving and thriving in emergency situations. Number seven, canned goods with artificial ingredients. Canned goods with artificial ingredients can significantly impact your health, particularly when consumed over long periods. Artificial ingredients are often added to canned foods to enhance flavor, color, or extend shelf life, but they come with various health concerns. Common artificial ingredients include preservatives like sodium benzoate, artificial sweeteners such as aspartame, and synthetic food colorings like yellow 5 or red 40. These chemicals can have adverse effects on the body, especially when ingested regularly as part of a survival or long-term diet. One of the primary issues with artificial ingredients in canned goods is that they offer no nutritional value. In fact, these additives can potentially reduce the nutrient density of the food, 
For example, artificial sweeteners and flavors might trick your taste buds, but they don't provide the energy or essential nutrients that whole, unprocessed foods do. Over time, reliance on foods filled with artificial ingredients can lead to nutrient deficiencies, making it harder for the body to function optimally in a survival situation. Another problem is the potential health risks associated with certain artificial ingredients. For example, some preservatives have been linked to allergic reactions or gastrointestinal issues. Sodium nitrites, often found in canned meats, are controversial due to their potential to form harmful compounds like nitrosamines, which have been linked to cancer. Artificial food dyes have also been associated with hyperactivity in children and are suspected of contributing to other health problems, such as migraines or asthma. In a prepping or emergency food storage context, choosing canned goods with artificial ingredients means potentially stockpiling food that could negatively affect your health over time. When faced with stressful and physically demanding situations, your body needs real nourishing food, not empty calories and harmful chemicals. It's important to read labels carefully and prioritize canned goods that contain minimal or no artificial ingredients, opting instead for foods made from whole, natural ingredients. This ensures that your stockpile supports long-term health and vitality, rather than contributing to future health problems.